Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the episode of Coral Island. Today is a rainy day, so we need to do some fishing and we need to look for a bug. That is kind of the agenda for today. It has been a few days since I have filmed because I don't know if you can hear by my voice. I'm a little under the weather. I don't know how many videos I will even be able to do, but I am under the weather a little bit. It's manageable. Um, it, it's manageable, but I just I don't sound it sounds worse to me. This is not what I want to do. It sounds worse to me than it probably does for you. <laughs> Which is always the case. In your head, you sound so bad. But it really isn't that bad. <laughs> um, I think today we might do our first gold, I know, osmium, excuse me, osmium research. We may do that. I don't know where to put these. I really don't. For now, we're gonna go, I think. I don't know where to put them, right here, sure. Um, I'm gonna age this. I don't know if that's the correct thing to do with it, Um, but we're gonna age it. Ah. <laughs> uh. Still need to put some of these stuff things down. I'm gonna age one of these. You can't. I need to look at my list again. How about you? Well, why would I want to? Why would I want to age tarot? Okay. Um. Yeah. So we're gonna. Oh, I forgot the door. Where is it? Where is? It? I should get grab vegetables first. Um, we'll go with these and this and I guess we'll go tarot. Let's go with this one. Um, yeah, we need to do a bunch of fishing today. Where's the part of me is really curious if I were to move that, if it would make it better. Um, because the first day I put, um, the shed in, I don't remember, like when it was first available, I don't remember having such an issue getting into the door. That is like a newer thing. But because it's crazy that I have to click inches away to get inside. It's like, what is going on? <laughs> um... So anyway, so we need to go looking for a spider today and we need to go fishing today. The fish is available in the morning and the afternoon. Why did I have a fence? Um, so we are going to probably go get the fish, go fishing this morning. The spider is available anytime today. So that is the plan. Yes, Fluffy. Um, I'm recording this also very early in the morning. So it's like 7.30 in the morning. I'm recording this on the day. I don't know if you've heard, but there's an eclipse in the United States. I'm recording it on that day. <laughs> am I going to see the eclipse? No, I am not. I am staying inside. I originally was going to, um, and then, I mean, for me to go see it in its full, I saw it in 2017, because I just so happened to be on my way home from LA, driving from LA. I went to like Northern California and then LA. Um, so I ended up being in, like on the way home, 
I took the south route. I, I drove, like I said. I took the south route home and uh, I saw the eclipse in like, uh, where did I go? It was in, where am I putting, oh yeah, up here. I saw it in like a Missouri and it was cool. I mean, I saw the full totality. It was cool for what it was. Um, so I thought about going and going to go see it. And, but I would have to, I, so I, I would have to drive about seven, eight hours. And when you, when you start talking, driving seven, eight hours and making me have to stay in a hotel room, now you're getting into crazy territory because it ain't worth it. <laughs> Especially when hotels were price gouging. They were charging. We're going to go this way and look for the bug first and then fast travel over. Ooh, you're to four. Um, hotels were charging $500 a night. It was like, what the hell is wrong with you? I get it. You're from like a little ho-dunk town in like down south or something. And, you know, this is your chance to make some money. But really? Really? So my parents are actually driving there. They can be crazy, but I probably I'm I'm probably not even gonna go outside and look at it because I'm just like, eh. It's raining in my white my White House. No, we are not the president. Um, in my greenhouse. Um, but yeah, my parents are driving the hours upon hours. They're crazy. My dad is like that space nerd, so. I am not shocked that he wants to drive there. My mom is just literally along for the ride and is just like, I don't want to do this. This is so stupid. <laughs> That's all she keeps saying. Like I've gotten, they've only, they left a few hours ago and um, I've already gotten a few texts from her. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. Driving this far for an eclipse. <laughs> So I didn't mind when I was on my way home from L.A. for 2017. I didn't care because it was just I drove a little bit out of my way, but I didn't have to stay in an extra hotel or anything. I was still able to make it home at a decent time. But now when you're talking driving 14 hours in one day, oh, no. I ain't crazy. Well, maybe a little but you know. I ain't crazy. So anyway, but yeah, today is the eclipse. And I am not going to look at it. I mean, I'll pick, I will open my window, my uh, blinds in my room, and I'll peek outside at it being a little darker than normal. I'll do that. That's the best. That's it. That is all I'm going to do. And I know a few people who are like making a big deal about this. And it's like, okay, you do you. I'm just going to watch over here. I think if people weren't making such a big deal about it, I think I might be more interested. But because people are just like, oh my God, the eclipse, oh my God, the eclipse, I'm just like, okay, you lost me. You lost me. Okay, we need to go fishing because I'm just wasting a lot of time right now. At this point, I probably need to empty my pockets. Um, We're going to go home really quick, empty the pockets, and then... If I go do um, research today, I'll sell one and see what it's worth. Um, if I do research today, I'm just sticking these here to clear out spots. It's not going to be until after in the afternoon. It's because it, the gar we're looking for the gator gar. Um, 
the Gator Gar is only available until 350. Right? Yes, morning and afternoon. It was a later start than I wanted. But it's fine. We have the entire season to catch it. So I'm not too worried about it. Being we're on day three. <laughs> if we were day 23, I might be a little more worried. Thanks, lucky angler for the trash. Come on, Arn. Okay. I can also go to River Forest. I can also go to River Farm. <clears throat> I've always had better luck here. This could be it. It's a little resistant. Nah, I don't, I, I actually would be shocked if it was, but you never know. Yeah. As I said, either in like the, the last video or the video before, I have been playing a little bit of Critter Crow, Critter Co. I did finally get beyond the level. I still am deciding if I want to cover it or not. Um, I think at the most in this little play test, there's about maybe four or five hours of content. So that's the only, that's the main reason why I'm kind of like, I may just wait for a bigger release. I mean, I'm having fun in it. The controls drive me crazy. Um, let me see, the controls drive me crazy. There's a few things that do drive me a little bit crazy. The storage drives me crazy because it tells you your storage is accessible anywhere in the island and that's a lie, that is a flat out lie. It's available anywhere on the island once you create a chest in your workshop versus your house. Then it sometimes works, but it's very fussy. But I don't know, I'm still deciding if I want to or not. It's mainly because also uh, not not it's a lot of reading and my voice is like I've already <clears throat> had to take about four or five days off from filming anything uh, because of my voice and my cough um and the fact that there's nothing voiced it's all reading and it's a it is to the oops I hit the button by accident is to the point where the amount of dialogue they have in there, it needs to be voiced. It's just like, pay the voice actors, please. Because after a while, there is so much to read. I just, I quit reading because it's just like, this is too much for me to have to read that it actually takes you out of the game. So if, it, if there was any voicing, I would think about it. But because there's none... I'm just like, I don't know if I could read that much. Not with how my, my throat is right now. So I don't know, I'm undecided. I have, they are supposed that the play test for Critter, Cro Critter Cove is for the entire month of April. So there is some time left if I feel like it. If on my first cast, this is it, I'm going to be a little mixed. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. I think this might be it. Just from the amount of decay on the line. There it is. A gator gar. What quality? gold a gold Ooh, you're an offer i might try to catch two if not we'll just dupe it i just put the fish inside 
the uh, the breeder chest, so it wouldn't be the end of the world to take them out again. I wouldn't be losing any time on it. Look at you, little zebra, Daniel. We'll do this. Will be our last cast for the day, and then we're gonna <clears throat> go do our south gathering. And um, go do the south gathering and then look for the Magnolia Jumper. Yeah, we're going to go put him in uh, the breeder. We're just going to do it now. I mean, being that it's, like I said, the... The third, the third of spring. I think I said winter before. Where am I going? Um, I'm. If there's other, and there's going to be other rainy days. Let's be real. There will be other rainy days. <clears throat> I may on other rainy days. Oh, we already have five. Look at that. Okay. Or now we have five. I guess I would. That would be the correct thing. Another rainy days. We, I may just go fishing and try to get as many gator gars as possible. You, 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 Yes. Clearing out pockets. Um, I do still want that on me. Um, we are going to go fill this up again. I... I'm going to have to calculate how much of the compost I need <clears throat> in order to do this or in order to fertilize all of this without buying. I mean, if I don't buy, it's fine, but yeah, <laughs> uh, they're going to probably be closed, but I'll try. It's not the end of the world not not being able to do the osmium. So I kind of I'm still on the fence about doing the osmium uh, research. I I don't know if it's going to be worth it, but we'll do at least this one. I think the ones that are going to be worth it are the seeds because it basically guarantees us that we will no longer get no quality or bronze quality. That pretty much what this guarantees us. So to me, that is worth it when you want a higher quality. Um, I don't know if the trees and stuff are gonna be worth it. Um, so yeah, did they just close or is it over here? Okay, <laughs> one second. Sorry about that. My mom was texting me. <laughs> that she was just saying that traffic is really bad. A lot of crazy people on their way to go see an eclipse. <clears throat> we had a... Did I have a thing? No, okay. <laughs> Just trying to remember. Tomorrow's Jocko's birthday. He wants coffee. Oh, yeah, I'm... Mm. Okay, we're going to go down here really quick. And then um, we're going to go up... Up by the lake and we're just going to kind of peruse the lake looking for the magnolia jumper magnolia jumper is in the lake and the forest so we're just going to kind of peruse those areas today Part of me is a little tempted to uh, use the scents. I've never used them other than that. Actually, I need to check that trap, actually. <laughs> uh, I placed the trap and then I was like, whoops, forgot about it in the ocean. We may check that eventually. I'm not as worried about... Um, Continuing the mining and the diving. You are beautiful. You're probably you know, just a normal moth. For being a normal moth, you are beautiful. 
Yeah, I'm not as like we have to have to have to finish the mining or the diving right now. It just it is what it is, really. I mean, I don't. <clears throat> it's I mean, we'll do it when we, when we get need to, but it's not like time is of the essence to do anything. There are a few um, ocean critters we do need to get, though. So we might concentrate. We may have a day where we concentrate on the sea critters, which might be tomorrow. I would like to see who's there. A cricket. Yeah, I forgot how plentiful the crickets were. Actually, where are... Oh, to be a ground insect? You are what? A floater? No. A monster? Flying? Um, <clears throat> Crawling? I kind of... Ground insect. The crawling one. Ocean critters, okay. I'll try this. Yes. The spider. I remember I've only seen it one time in this save and it is it's a it's a very difficult thing to see because it fully blends in with the grass um so that's that's the thing um we're gonna go back to the forest i think <clears throat> we may put um scents in there see if the scents work better here than they do in the ocean. As in the I mean, I haven't checked my trap, but I part of me thinks that the uh, ocean traps are not fully implemented. Because <clears throat> we had one there when I was checking it like multiple days in a row and we never caught anything. So that's a little disheartening, I have to say. <laughs> Um, we'll go to farm and just kind of keep going to the forest area. Wasabi is something you cannot process at all. Um, so wasabi, I think we are most likely just going to sell. Because there is no machine it can get processed in. It is literally... A, it is l l quite literally a uh, just a spice. That probably was it. We may actually get rid of this just so I can see. I mean, it doesn't matter because tomorrow it's not going to rain. Because uh, it is a rain only bug. Oh, we're going to make some for this too. Like I said, I don't really know if these actually help at all. This is the only place I have ever seen it is right here. That was not what I wanted to do. Oh, well. I don't know if when they say forest, if it means it can include this part. I'm assuming yes. I am 100% assuming yes, that is a thing. Hi, ghost. Anything you want to give me? Huh? Uh huh? Anything at all? Okay. I don't know if there's like a limit to the amount that the ghost is can give you. But 
plans, but yeah, when I say when they say the forest, I assume it means this area too. So many crickets, oh my gosh. If I only catch catch critic crit not critics. Crickets. I'm gonna be a little missed, I have to say. Thanks for the snail. No, I'm not. I, have, I, I think the only time we may have seen it today was the one that I scared away. I do think that is a thing. So we have to hope that overnight our traps do a good job. On my other save, I did catch it with a net, I believe. I actually, I don't really remember, but I do think anything. Do you have anything? No. Okay. I, but that is what I kind of remember. You're just a thing. All right, praying mantis. Come on, bug. Okay, we're gonna go back up to the lake and that, I don't know what else to do. I do think, I think the gator gar is was a legendary fish. It was a little easier than a legendary fish, but that's fine. There it is. Yes! <laughs> Woo! Sorry if that was really loud. That's a snail. Well, we can take up all the traps now. <laughs> and if you see how that blended in, though, my goodness. I may pause really quick and see how much it's worth. I kind of remember being worth nothing, but I am going to pause really quick and see what it is worth. I shall return. Yes, even as an osmium quality, the Magnolia Green Jumper is only worth 300, so it is just gonna be donated. So we're gonna fast travel um, to home and just go to sleep, I think. But we got it. Yay. <clears throat> I have to say, though, that was a slightly difficult bug to catch. Just slightly difficult. I forgot to sell things. I will be back outside. I also left the wiki open, so I may have to jump over and close it. Because I don't trust the wiki, even though I have that site permanently muted on my computer, it they play a lot of ads on that, and sometimes they're not the nicest of ads. Okay, going to bed, and I'm going to pause really quick to shut off the wiki. 24,000, oh my god. Oh, the hammerhead sharks. <laughs> That'll do it. And the atlas moths. Oh, so that was a double payday, pretty much. Nice. <laughs> well, we just paid for our research. <clears throat> okay, one second. Oh, today's Jocko's birthday. Okay, that is closed. Hello, Tinkerbell. Yeah, we fully forgot his birthday. I believe he is the only birthday we forgot in so far. So, yeah. <sighs> I thought you might want some healthy food to help fuel your day. Alice, thanks for the gift. That's not the right, that's a rainy day chest. Um, coffees. Nice. Okay. 
sorting this. Yes. Um. I don't need this much wasabi. I do, again, still need to go through. Oh, this is oil production. I do need to go through and. Um, oh, how much was uh, the moral mushroom? 60. Okay, you're getting sold. I do need to go through again all of uh, these, um, these again. I still need to do that. Um, nothing is ready, I don't think. Two days. One day. Okay, so tur turnips will be the first thing. Turnips and then radishes. Okay, turnips, radishes, and then... Very cool. I think when things that aren't as good money-wise are done... I think we're going to be continuing our radish empire. It's going to be a radish and cauliflower empire. That is what I'm thinking. Um. So. Yeah, we will probably plant those. I'm basically going to see what has the shortest turnover. And that is what we will plant. Come out, my lovely. Hopefully this spreads enough that that's enough for them. If not, I will go, when we go to Sam's to buy more stuff, I will buy more of um, the grass starter. Okay, Wilbur, you need to have a productive day out there and you need to find with a large black truffle Not trying to pressure you or anything, Wilbur, but just saying. Yeah, just saying. You're so sniff away, my little dude. Okay, good talk. Um, This goes here, this goes there. We will go see if we caught any other... Um, Mango steams. I think those are here. Yeah. Jocko's birthday. That is what I need to remember. I cannot forget his birthday two days in a row, or two years in a row. I cannot. I, I will say I am a little afraid to go to their house because I don't want any more than Mr. Beak scenes because I know what the next scene is. And I, I really don't want to see it. I have no desire to see it. So we may avoid it like the plague. Uh, you go right. Nope. I keep hitting the wrong chest. There we go. Okay, selling stuff and then filling you first. I need to check on our greenhouse and make sure nothing in there is, is ready. I don't think it will be. I just need to remember to check it. I need to put that like on the radar to check. Um, otherwise, we're just never gonna check. <laughs> uh, ooh, look at the plants! How lovely. I still wish you could click on a tree, and it would tell you how much longer. I do wish that was a thing. Um, but it's not, unfortunately. Okay, Jocko, where are you? I'm hoping out here. No, well, we're not going to go in their house. I don't want to go in their house. 
So we're going to avoid it like the plague. I think we're going to pick up all the traps. Now that I got the bug that I need to get, we're going to pick them all up. Will we put them down anywhere? I don't know, actually. I'm, I'm kind of reaching a point where I'm a little tired of checking for them. So, yeah. So I don't know if we're going to plant it again. I mean, it's nice having a passive. Wow, that was lag. Um, it's nice having a passive income on it. I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, it is getting old having to have to go check them. And I don't have to go check anything. Um... But, you know, because I also think we have <clears throat> reached the point with our um, breeders that, hey Scott, have you started working on your farm yet? There must be a lot of weeding to do. Not really, because stuff doesn't come back that often. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Oh, I have a sneeze. Um, I forgot what I was saying because I'm concentrating on the fact that I have to sneeze. If things on the farm don't come back as much as I was hoping they would, I think that comes from Stardew Valley and that I normally never had to buy the grass starter. Um, I normally was just able to carry on and just let the animals eat it. I've never had to buy it. Okay. I think today we are going to... <clears throat> um, I think we're going to go diving... We've been doing a lot of fishing. Um, where's Joko? Okay, good. I just, I don't want to go in his house. Like, we're going to be avoiding going in there for a really long time. I couldn't find this anywhere. Thank you for the birthday present. I mean, we will eventually have to go in there because I do want to buy more sheds. Um, <laughs> so I can't avoid it forever. But if I want to avoid it for as long as I possibly can, because I just. Sorry, Dinda's scenes are just awful. As a person who loves birds, it's just so bad. Well, it does. I love animals, but birds held a special place in my heart. <clears throat> oh, hey there, Lexi. Hold on a sec. Three, two, one. Panting. Oh, no. panting. No. Hi, Lexi. That's what you're supposed to say. <laughs> I've been working out like crazy. The big game's coming up and I am not going to blow this opportunity. I'd never live it down. Oh, uh, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Heck yeah, that spirit. Oh, uh, you won't let them down. As long as you try your hardest, everyone will be proud. That will do one. Thanks, that's nice of you to say. I wish it were that easy. I'm ready for the playoff. Whenever I get burned out from all this training, I remind myself what I'm working for. <clears throat> oh, I got to cross off Gator Gar. And I can cross off the Magnolia Green Jumper.
I, I'm, I'm very happy that. Well, I'm happy that I made the notes that kind of give me a quick snapshot of you. It's you, tiger beetle. That actually hurt my throat. Um, I'm kind of happy that I write down what I need. So like we can kind of do it first thing in the month. Cause I, I hate the feeling like um, last month when I knew I had to get to a certain point in the diving to, in order to get something. I hated that feeling. So I'm happy that we got the bulk. I mean, we officially have all of the spring, uh, the spring only bugs and, <clears throat> excuse me, the spring, holy cow, the spring only um, fish. We officially have that done. Um, for the sea critters, I have to look at it. Um, we need to get a chambered nautilus, so we may work on that. It's a morning and afternoon thing. So we may stop what we're doing. Tiger beetle. And go take care of that. I'm just going to sell these. It's fine. We are so behind on everything. We got the birthday done. That's like the top priority is the birthday. Um, and it is done. I opened the same chest. Thank you. We are, I think, going to go diving. So the chambered Nautilus is available in uh, the 40 meter zone. which is here. It is in the far northwest of the fast track. So over here, I'm thinking. That is what my notes are saying. So we get the chamber Nautilus then we are officially, we officially have all of our spring only. Um, let me see, where are we? So it's this way. I may get my map out just in case. But I mean, if we just make a point to come every afternoon and look for it, we should get it eventually. Oh, it's that thing I just caught. Okay. Like, what are you? <laughs> This is, I think, the region it should be in. Let me make sure I'm still in it. I'm gonna get my map really quick. I shall return. Okay, whoops, did not mean to hit that. So, it is in zone five. So that means it can be here in this region. Yes, okay. So we'll just keep perusing this area. I mean, the chamber Nautilus should be a pretty derpy looking thing. Um, at least that's a seahorse. From any chamber Nautilus I've seen in real life, they should be pretty derpy. <clears throat> There is still some more fishing that we are going to do, um, just because uh, 
There are some spring summer stuff, so there's some fishing we can do still, or we should try to do still, and then, of course, trying to get the chamber going. And we have until 3.50. So we may just make a point to push back when we do things until we catch it. I think we're already too low because this is now, I think, the mid region. Yeah, this is considered mid like I said the map is probably one of the most helpful things in the world I do think that the what is it called? The sturdy computer? I know, like you said, like I said, there's discs you can buy. I don't know if this type of stuff should be gated behind that. I think there should be a mechanic in game either way that can help you with this. I just, I don't think that something like this should be hidden behind research. That's just me, though. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We need to look for a horseshoe crab, which is actually now, which is a summer. Oh my God. You scared me, sir. Oh. Yeah, Cause we're technically now in evening. Uh, so a chambered, nope. A horseshoe crab. Oh, this is the yoga retreat. <clears throat> we need to get down here and right here. So we're going to go look here and there. Where are we now? Oh, we need to go this way. Okay. Yeah, it is very framey here. Uh, are we in zone one now? This is zone three. Okay. So we are looking for a horseshoe crab. I think this is, yeah, we're in the right area. Okay. That's a star, uh, see, nope, seahorse, there we go. And then if we can catch the horseshoe crab, the next thing is a blue starfish which is in the 50 meter area. We're gonna go to down to zone one, maybe. Oof, that is some lag. Oh my goodness. It is not my computer, cause my, all my stuff is barely being used. This is just the game. A sexy shrimp. Yeah, so this is zone one. <clears throat> A shrimp again. Well, I think we are fully out of luck today with um, this, so. Up here. 
Yeah, that is what it is kind of looking like, like we're out of luck. That's the broken texture guy. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh. When it does that, it... I don't know if OBS picks it up fully, but it drops to 30 some frames per second. It just all of a sudden goes at a steady 60 frames and it just plummets to 30. The lowest it's ever gone is <clears throat> I think 15. So many sea fish or seahorses. Sea fish? Where the hell did I get that from? Well. Um. We may give up on this guy because um, we're really not looking out here. So we're going to go back to zone one, which is down here. We'll go one loopy around and am I going to zone one now? Yes. Whoops. Wrong button. We'll go to zone one. And if we do a loop around zone one and we, we do not get lucky, whoop, there he is. There we go. Horseshoe crab is done. We now need to go to a fast travel, which is closest up here. And now we need to go to, um, the 50 meters. Right. Hello, blue crab. Okay, so we are going to the 50 meters. We need mid and um, we actually need to go here. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Mid and zone four. So the quickest way to get there is actually, do we even have room right now? Yes, okay. Is going to our anchor. Yeah, I don't think these are even implemented. So we're just gonna take it. And we need to go up to zone four which is this whole area. And we are looking for a blue starfish. Please don't be you. Okay. <laughs> like if the texture's broken, that's gonna suck. Um, so it's this entire area. And then the other area it can go is mid, which is, here's the dragon. It is this area. Oh, and it's this dragon. Um, it's this area. I just make sure I'm staying in the area. We are still in zone five, four, four. It's four. There it is right there. Whew, okay. So we just need the chambered Nautilus and um, then we are done for spring. 
Everything else is specific seasons only. Um. So there's a mauve stinger jellyfish. Um, and that is, oh, actually, that's summer's fall, that one. And then there is a cotton candy lobster and a leaf dragon, sea dragon. And that is a fall only. So we're kind of done having to do this for a little while. I do think soon, maybe next episode, we might start to process some of our coffers. Just because it's reaching a point where there's a lot, like a lot, a lot, and it needs to be done. Disappointing, I have to say that um, we actually just might leave um, because I want to pick up the rest of our traps. I do kind of think we might be done, like I said, with the traps for a little while. I'm going to go to the museum, though, first and donate what we have. And then I think we'll maybe go, did I get, which ones did I pick up? The forest ones? I think it was the forest ones. We'll probably pick up the lake ones then. Donate. You lovely. Blah. So if we look here, caught. I mean, this is really filled in. We have five. We still have to catch another lionfish. No. Uh, we actually have to catch, catch a clownfish. I think it's here. And. Oh, we already got all the fish that like this was one of them. This was one of them. And the koi was one of them. Those were all repeats that we had to get to do completionist things. Um, hi. Between the monster hunters and traveling, I find it quiet a moment. Oh, I've already read this. I find a quiet moment to appreciate the journey like now with you in these moments that make an adventure worthwhile. Oh, like, thank you. Food tastes different in every place you go. We need to start a petition to make Axel romanceable. Just saying. <sighs> so I think in this game, I don't know, in this game, a lot of the bachelors to me are a little eh. I think the female NPCs in this game are much better. I think they're more well-rounded. Granted that Axel is fully based on his looks that I'm like, he's the V-Romanceable. <laughs> that is a thing. Um, <laughs> but I just, the male NPCs in this game just to me leave a lot to be desired. And yeah, like there's no Logan in this game, unfortunately. There's no one who is just a standout best bachelor in the game in this game. And because Sandrock, hands down, that is Logan. Logan is the bachelor. I will forever say that Logan is the bachelor in that game. He is like the perfect bachelor. Like he pretty much was designed to be the perfect guy for the builder. Like, he really is. Um, you and you will process these. Um, 
But yeah, there really is no standout guy in this game, and that's really a bummer. I don't have the those out, do I? Well, no time like the present. I do think we're going to have in the end um let me finish what I'm doing I think in the end we're gonna have one shed that is all kegs and mason jars with the the chests the the auto chest connected to them I think we're gonna have one shed that is like miscellaneous things so like your glass machine whatever that thing is called your composting machine those types of machines that are more like like the uh thing that makes the kelp well like that one maybe the dehydrators in there like the random machines maybe mayonnaise will go in there i don't know and then well no that'll be like the technical creating things, smelting things, and then I think we're going to have another shed that is probably another food-based shed with the looms. Like, you know, your products. I think that's how I'm going to do it. I have to just, I have to figure it out. That's basically it. Yeah, just start catching today. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Okay, well, another very productive day here on Coral Island. Caught another legendary fish. I do believe the Gator Gar is a legendary fish. I will double check what it says. Maybe no. I think it's just, it's not legendary. Because normally all the legendaries say legendary. Yeah, because legendary. Legendary. So he is not legendary. He is just super rare. So we caught the Gator Gar. He's being reproduced in the breeder. Um, We got some things we caught our bug for spring we also got some we still need to work on the chambered nautilus that is going to be our priority for a while um but yeah uh next episode we're going to continue with the research we like i said it's good. we're going to be selective on what we switch to osmium at this point we have enough money i may just do all the osmium i was not expecting us to have this consistent of an income on bugs and stuff like that, that I kind of assumed, you know, like I would be really hurting for the 20,000 each time it does it. We really haven't. So we may continue with the osmium research. Um, the only thing that will stop us from researching is if they're closed at this point and producing osmium, because I did forget to turn the machine on. Um, so yes, I think that's what we're gonna do and then work on the chamber nautilus. So anyway, so I hope you enjoyed. <clears throat> Take care of yourself and bye for now.